Hi guys, welcome back to Dread Effect Custom Paint. In today's video guys, I'm gonna take you through a short video on a Kawasaki Vulcan that I did. This is a fully painted custom Vulcan. It's hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil theme on this. We've got a marble candy green effect, a load of airbrushing. I found a load of old footage, so I'm gonna to piece together this video for you. So I'll do a bit of talking through some of the processes, what I've got and I'll just talk you through some of the processes that I've missed, but I can give you the info on how I've done it and the way I did it. So stay tuned guys, and I'll see you at the end of this video for a little chat. Right guys, starting out on this Vulcan, this is the tank. The tank was a gray color, as you can see there on the top, and these bits where this white is, that's gray primer. There was some logos down the side of this tank and a bit of pin lining. I had to nib out with a thousand grit before we started putting any primer down. So that's how the tank came in. As you can see, I've masked the cap off and that's basically 2K high build primer in the spots that it needed it, ready for the next stage. Right, we're now moving on to the next stage, guys. As you can see, this is a gloss black all I had at the time was a 2K direct gloss. So I 2K direct glossed all this because I needed a black base coat. I put 2K direct gloss down. I let this go off for over a day. So it really cured down. And then we could flat this back and use this as a base coat. So that's what I've done. As you can see the tank. And we've done the tank, the front mud guard. There's a rear mud guard two side panels that we have to get done all in the black for a base coat. That's why this is looking really glossy guys because this is a 2K direct gloss. But you can do that if you've, if you've not got a base coat, you can go this way. It just means that you've got to let it cure right down and then you've got to flat that back. It's basically like flat and clear coat before you start in your artwork. There you go guys, there's the front fender. Same again, direct gloss, let it cure down, then we'll flap that back ready for the next stage. This next stage is the airbrush stage and you'll see these finished pieces any second. Now you've got like realistic schools. So we've got a school to the top of the tank there and one on each side. These were done in a grayscale portrait style. So a lot of grey tones and then darks, as you can see there, there's another school there. I started off with these schools with a white base coat, projected the artwork up, pencil round, like you see me doing my other videos, guys, exactly the same. Then just take your time, look at your reference and get the images down. So that's the three schools in. The next stage on this will be more on these schools, a bit of Candy green coming up in a bit, guys, as well. Don't forget, if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe, press that notification so you can see more up and coming videos on Dread Effects Custom Paint. Right, we're moving on to the candy stage, guys. How I did this effect was, if this whole mud guard is black, just do it off a black base coat, then go in with a real wet water base silver and then lay a piece of cling film over the top of the silver straight on the wet paint get your pattern and then pull the cling film off and it gives you this marble effect as you can see there So I've done the same process here on the schools, done a bit of the silver, dropped the cling film over, pulled it away and that gives you that texture. Same on this one guys, same as the front mud guard. I've got the skull in there with some graveyard scene and a bit of light smoke coming up. And then you've got your marble candy green effect there on the front mud guard. 
dead simple to do, easy effect. Once you've got that silver down, let that go off with your texture like this. You can see the texture in there and then just build your candies up to that desired colour that you want and you'll get that effect guys. Nice and simple. Just panning around again. That's the front skull. That was done exactly the same way, white base coat and then projected up and then just airbrushed it in guys. There's some stills there, that's the candy green, that's them five pieces all ready for the next stage guys. There's another close up there. This next stage was back onto the tank. I've dropped some text in as you can see, so you've got the hair on that one. You've got Black Widow Spider just coming out of the eye socket there. So that scores the hair no evil. You've got my logo on the side panel, the Red Effects Custom Paint logo, and then I've dropped a little skull on that side panel there. There's the Black Widow, the drop shadows on the legs, that's back onto the side panel. I think this one's clear coated at this point. Yeah, that one's clear coated. So that's a finished side on that one. As I said, this is all footage that I've found. There's my logo, that's clear coated. So that's the finish, the effect you get with the marble effect with the green candy guys, that really pops now. There's back onto the tank. So that's the tank clear coated. There's the sides, that's the see no evil. That's the hear no evil. And then you've got the speak no evil there. So you've got the speak with the green coming out the mouth, the hair coming out the eyes. This is the rear Fender guys, I've done another Black Widow spider on a spider's web. This one's been clear coated as well, so this one's finished now. I would have liked to have gone through the whole process with you on this, but this is just the footage that I had left and I've pieced together. So that's the front wood guard clear coated guys, that's all finished. As you can see that candy green really pops now when you've got that light on it. Simple effect to do and really effective. You can drop any color candy over this, not a problem at all. I went for the candy green because the other parts on the bike, I've got a green color with the Kawasaki. So there you go guys, real simple effect. Dead easy to do. Got the green on that one. You can, like I say, you can use any color. This piece here is the center piece to the tank. That top piece there, that's where the clock sits. So I'll drop the Vulcan logo down the sides on that and drop the marble candy green again. So that's the finished pieces, guys. I'll shoot back into the studio now and I'll give you a chat on what's coming up next on Dread Effects Custom Paint. See you in a bit, guys. Welcome back. I hope you got something out of that video. I was looking through the hard drive today, piecing loads of stuff together, and I thought, yeah, we'll get this one up and running. So that's the Kawasaki Vulcan with the airbrush schools and the candy green marble effect on that. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. The next video that's coming up is going to be part three. I've covered this up. I should be seeing this before you've seen the video. So yeah, it's the continuation of the Lambretta trailer. Little sneak peek, this is what we're gonna be doing, guys. I've just picked up a new bracket, which is really cool. So I've got the TV monitor on there from a reference, which is really, really handy. And then you've got a little plate there that's all movable as well. So that's a pretty cool piece of kit. That came today from Amazon. They're 32 quid, so they're worth a look. So yeah, this is the next video that's coming up, which is gonna be part three Part two is up. So if you watch part two, if you've not seen it, give it a look guys, because it's the Lambretta trailer and it's the getting it to this stage as we've got it here. Part two's all through that stage, so you'll see all that. And I'll be moving on to part three, so that's the next video. This one should be up, fingers crossed, if I get my finger out, tomorrow painting, it'll be up tomorrow evening, guys. So yeah, part three should be up tomorrow evening. Uh, 
I just want to say a big welcome to all the new subscribers and all the comments and feedback you give me is much appreciated. There was a comment on one of the videos, it was the engraving video on the alloy, which is just there. That's all covered up so I don't get any overspray on it. I've got three more to do and someone popped a comment up saying, can you show us the whole process? So what I'll do is I'll do a full video of the engraving on how I did it. And I'll give you the clear coat stage in the video as well on that one. I've posted up a load of new videos today. Um, some of them are only short. As I say, I've been digging through the hard drive. So I found a load of old work. A lot of it was just stills. And I've not had time to do what I've done tonight where I talk through. But you get the gist. It was just to get some artwork up so you can see what I can do. And the things that are going to be coming up on the channel. There'll be more of what you've seen in these videos that I've posted up today, but they'll be me giving you step-by-steps and talk-throughs on it. So I just want to say thanks again to all the new subscribers, all the comments, it's much appreciated. If you've not subscribed to my channel, click that button, it does help the channel guys, I want it to grow, the subscribers are getting there. A big shout out to Salvage Flippers as well, because uh, a lot of you guys have come over from his channel because he's pushed you over on that video that he'd done up with the airbrushing on the cam cover that he did, which was wicked by the way. I love the candies on that. So yeah, thanks again. I'll see you in the next one, guys.